Hey, gun people. Another execution of a, of a pesky citizen by our uh, heroes. Another isolated incident of earning the hate. Man, this guy just killed this dude. Here we go. Information regarding an officer-involved shooting that occurred on Tuesday, December 29th, in the 2300 block of Woodland Avenue. Hello? What address? What's going on there? Um, my brother bought a gun last night, and he said that he's walking over here and just to watch what happens to us. I'm sorry, uh, he did what? He bought a gun last night, and he said, he said that he is coming over. Is this a house or over. apartment? Well, it's a house. When did he tell you this? So he bought a gun, he's coming to the house. He just right. texted my mom about a minute ago. What's your brother's name? Trevor Seeger. What's his date of birth? He will be 30 in April, so 29 right now. Okay, is he white, black, Hispanic, Asian? White. Oh. Shortly after receiving the 911 call, Staff in our real-time crime center recognized Mr. Seaver's name and remembered a recent officer safety bulletin about him. In early December, detectives became aware of extremely concerning posts on Mr. Seaver's Instagram. All I want for Christmas is another dead officer. So now he is put on a watch list and listed as dangerous. Really? This is why they killed this dude. Police. Blue line. Protecting the blue line, keeping you pesky citizens in line. Instagram account. The post stated that a good cop is a dead cop, and all I want for Christmas is another dead MPD officer. An officer safety bulletin had been distributed regarding these statements, as well as prior contacts with Mr. Seaver. As officers were en route to this call, the bulletin was redistributed to them for safety purposes. For safety. That's meaning, hey, this is the guy that we need to get back because he's talking shit about our apartment. Okay, we got him. We'll find a reason to shoot him. Any in position to break and start for a security check? Let's see the officer safety bulletin that they kind of tried to get through here. Contacted in this vehicle. Okay. He has priors for 422, 245. Uh, 245A1 is assault with deadly weapon. 422 might be terrorist threats. Been a while. 23152 is drunk driving. 148 is resisting arrest. So all these could be one incident. He could have been drunk driving. He could have said, fuck you, and threw his license at the officer. That would have got him to 245. He could have said, you officers should freaking die for arresting me. That would have been the terrorist threats. So all of these looks like it, it came from one freaking incident. But it looks really serious here, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. On 1228, Modesto Police Department received information that Trevor made a law enforcement comment on social media. Ooh, that's like felony crime there. Such as good cop is dead cop and all I want for Christmas is another. Sever has been contacted multiple times while under the influence of alcohol, so he's a drunk. We know he drinks. He has been violent. So what? Argumentative, that means he didn't kiss our ass. Uncooperative, meaning he didn't kiss our ass. While drunk. Wow, whoever heard of a drunk person being argumentative and uncooperative. That's a shocker. Well, this obviously is enough to get you on a freaking kill list in this city. Uh, let's see. While well, inside the vehicle, let's see. What was this happened? Resisted. Kicked the right rear window of the officer's vehicle. Ooh, he kicked the vehicle. Man, that is violent. Threatened to spit on the officer. He didn't spit. He just threatened to. So if I threaten to pull down your pants and expose your pee-pee, because it's really small and you're a freaking wimp and, and you probably don't have any nuts. Is that a threat? Is that is that going to get me on the watch list as being a dangerous person? Sever has been booked for 23-152. That's drunk driving multiple times. He's a drunk. And he claimed to be a member of the Hells Angels. Well, so what? I, I'm a member of the Hells Angels. Does that mean I'm, I'm a member? If I say I'm a, I'm a member of the... Uh, Unity of the people that shot Kennedy. Matter of fact, I shot President Kennedy. That's not even enough to arrest me. You can't even put a case together if I make an admission and you've got no other corroborating evidence. But it's enough to get you on a kill list in this city. Wow. Uh, we have a uh, RP calling advising to his or brother Trevor Seaver. 
29 years of UMA 58230 took a gun. That he bought a gun last night, walking over with a gun. Bought a gun last night and walking over. Did he threaten anybody with the gun? Did he say he was going to kill somebody? Is he drunk? Ah, eh, we don't need to know all that. We we got enough here to shoot him. A stated quote: "Watch what is going to happen to you guys when I get there." Okay, he said, watch what's going to happen when I get there. That could be perceived as a threat. I can see at that point with that comment. Again, my opinion changes when I get more information. California law defines DUI two different ways. Driving influence of alcohol. Driving with the blood alcohol. So, freaking, what are they trying to say? His 23-152 is probably drunk driving was on the influence of marijuana. That's kind of what I think they're trying to cover here. Zebra 5979 2301. Check. And uh, clothing description again. He's going to be a WMA black beanie, black hoodie, charcoal gray sweats. WMA is a white male adult. And I'm out of 20. Uh, nobody is in dress right now. It looks like a uh, mother and her. Okay, so you notice the officer rolled down the window. A lot of times when you're rolling into an area where there might be a disturbance or something, it's a good idea to turn off your radio. I know, I know cops freaking leave their, their, their playing music in the background. They got the car radio on, the windows are up, and they're pulling up to incidents. And I'm like, dude, you, you should have been taught this. Roll down your windows and make your car as quiet as possible so you can gather intel on the way in. You may hear screams. You may hear somebody go, he's running that way. You may hear gunshots. You may hear a woman screaming for help. You need to listen when you roll in. At night, it's a little bit easier because it travels farther and there's less white noise and traffic and all that crap. But I think that's why he rolled down his window here. We are at the church. Um, the 2118 Woodland Address Victory Light Church in the Black Spring. Wow. Man, he's got a nice haircut. Anyway, here we go. Okay, guns out immediately. I don't know if he sees somebody or not. I, I watched this like three weeks ago and now I forgot it. Okay, so a guy's running, and I don't know if this guy sees a gun, but he pretty much executes this dude. And it I, I remember I was like, holy shit. Each time I think the blue line heroes can't freaking surprise me, they do. Look how far this guy is. Look how freaking far. He stands out in the open, takes a perfect, good parallel stance, an isosceles stance, like he's at the freaking range, aims and shoots this guy. I don't hear gun. I don't hear drop the gun. I don't hear show me your hands. Man, that didn't take long. Aren't you the guy? I hope he's got the right guy. Hopefully this guy doesn't have to just be happening to wear the same freaking clothes. I mean, how does he know he's got the right... He just shot this dude at freaking a distance. That's crazy. And he told a guy to get on the ground. I didn't hear anything about a weapon. I didn't hear he was run. I didn't hear anything. Outrageous. But wait, it gets better. This hero isn't finished with one stinking little pesky round for the citizen. Guy is walking away. His back is to the cop. Yeah, it's target practice in the neighborhood. Anybody dressed like this dude, I'm shooting. Shit, I don't have to. I don't need to read. What do you mean I need to read? What do you mean? I don't need pro. I don't need fear. Shit, I'm gonna stand out the open and get me some rounds down range and get somebody. Get some. Zero five 
Fire, shots fired. Show me your hands! Now he wants to see his hands. So after you get shot a few times, you better hope you're not wounded enough to where you can't show your hands. I'm behind the park. Show me your hands! Put your hands up! Dude's in a chair with his hands up. Hands are up! I'm uh, behind the uh, uh, church. Now remember, he's been shot maybe three or four times, bleeding, in pain. I'm going to talk on a radio and make him hold his hands up. And if he moves his hands, I'll shoot him again. West side of complex. Show me your hands! Put your hands up! Are you freaking kidding me? There are going to be cops here defending this sure as shit that it was a violent person. He had a right to be fear. He was in fear of his life. This guy bought a gun and that made him bad. And he made a bad post on, on his Facebook account. Out freaking rageous shooting people. This cop is no more fearful than you are sitting behind your computer right now watching this video. I'm behind the park. Show me your hands. Put your hands up. I'm uh, behind the... Uh, uh... You can tell his hand goes down like he's in pain or losing blood. He's not reaching. Uh, church, west side of complex. Show me your hands. Put your hands up. Hand went up. Guy didn't give him a chance. He just said, you know what? Here's my chance. I can shoot again. Let's go back. Hands up right here, right? He says, put your hands up. And the guy puts his hands up. And here he goes. One round, two rounds, three rounds. How can a guy hold his hands up when you're filling him full of freaking lead? Rick, he doesn't have to worry about that. He's a police officer, and it's his job to maintain safety and to protect you pesky citizens, and he should have to risk his life and his officer safety, and you should know that. Oh, you freaking idiots. Look how far he is. I mean, this guy is in a chair with his hands up. Even he put his hand down. You know what the odds are of this guy hitting this guy? This guy's taking a stable stance, two-handed, every time he shoots out in the middle of the open. Why isn't he hiding for cover? Why isn't he ducking for cover? Why isn't he running to some sort of cover and concealment if he's really scared? Because he ain't freaking scared. It's just open season on pesky citizens from these blue line heroes. Rick, this is an isolated incident. Okay. Zebra 5, I'm facing southbound, west side of the park. Now we go to a tree after I've shot him six or seven times. I gotta, I gotta make it look like I was scared. Shit, I'm standing out in the open. Let me get to this tree. Show me your hand! Turn him out! Does what's called administrative reload. I don't know if they're still calling that. It used to be an admin reload. Once you get a few rounds, don't wait for your thing to go dry. You put more ammo in. And he's probably already figuring, shit, I'm going to go dry because I'm going to shoot every round I can. If I put a new mag in, then i got more rounds to shoot. Shit. What, you can't breathe because you've been shot six times. But keep your damn hands up or I'll shoot you again. Damn. Hate these pesky citizens making stupid requests of me as a police officer. I don't care if you can breathe. You better keep your damn hands up. I'll shoot your ass again. Man, I feel safe. If we just had more government. If we only gave up our guns so only government had them, we'd be safer. Relax. We'll get relax. I've shot you six freaking times. And you're going to tell me to relax? Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I can't breathe. Relax. We'll get help to you in a second, okay? Modesto no, 05. I'm on the west side. The... What's this guy's voice? You think he's worried? You think he's upset? Think he's fearful? Of the complex north building facing southbound. Enter through the west driveway and I'll be on that corner. Man, he's going to get to tell people. Yeah, I shot some dude. I shot him six times. I got people asking me, Rick, how can you say that when you've never shot anybody? I never had to shoot anybody. I was able to handle shit without shooting them. And I took plenty of guns. Freaking pussy ass cops nowadays. The Northwest Corner Complex. Keep your hands up. Just 
confirming at the 2301 Woodland address, correct? Yeah, start AMR code three, please. Oh, he called for help, Rick. He's a good guy. Okay. Are they already in route? Greg, hold right there. I'm good. Hell yeah, you're good. The guy, ain't, you ain't even seen a gun. You haven't even mentioned seeing a gun. You just open up on a dude that's walking away. Of course you're good. Well, that's all we care about, Rick. Officer safety. Okay. Not even allowed to help yourself. You can't even crawl to name. You can't even crawl for help. We're going to stand here for officer safety while you bleed out. And then when you pass out, we'll run up and handcuff you like we're scared. Man, just freaking disgusting. I don't even know if they shoot him again. Believing the suspect was armed, officers waited for a ballistic shield before... Believing he was armed. Because his sister called and said he bought a gun, they believed he was armed. Shot him six times and let him bleed out and die while they were waiting for a shield. Because they might be in danger, Rick. They're heroes. It's a very dangerous job. Yeah. For approaching Mr. Seaver and providing first aid. Stay down! Stay down! I'm bumping it because it takes so damn long for them to Grab that let, shield. let this guy pass out and bleed out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven officers. <laughs> oh, we got a dog. Shit. Back up! The dog's here! Let's bite him! I think he moved! This guy will be going to station high five him. Way to go, man! He said a good cop is a dead cop. Now he's dead. Way to show those pesky citizens they can't talk about the blue line. Freaking disgusting. Earning the hate. Where the hell was this at? Modesto Police. December 29th, 2020. Alright, we'll end that there.